It's the seventh annual Pan-African Weekend. The four-day celebration comes to a close with the intimate jazz brunch where guests enjoy live performances from rhythm and blues musicians. This is actually my first time attending the event and I really enjoyed it. We just completed the seventh annual Pan-African Weekend um, and this is a celebration of um, Pan-African culture through dialogue, um, entertainment, fashion, great food and networking. Our jazz brunch, we usually dedicate that to, you know, pay tribute to jazz music to highlight current you know jazz music local jazz musicians in the community I try to you know offer the different styles different uh, repertoire you know different variety like R&B bossa nova jazz and so blues my single power is all about empowering yourself knowing that you march to the beat of your own drum not to anybody else's and that you have everything that you need to succeed in life right now in this moment in time. The event was hosted by Face to Face Africa whose mission is to break the stereotype of what is considered the narrative of Pan-Africanism. Face to Face Africa is um, this amazing organization to bring um, attention and awareness to the African diaspora and all the amazing things and all the amazing people around the world that are making impacts during the events, there's so many, so much going on that you know a lot of people don't get to talk to each other or mingle well. So this is where it's like calm. We can all sit and listen to music and you know mingle with each other and get to know each other a little bit more. Face to Face Africa came because we wanted to change our story, right? Every time you hear about Africa, what do you hear? Oh, poverty. We need aid. We need this. But what people forget is that we are educated too, right? We also. There's good things that come from Africa. This is a weekend full of, of excellence. Trailblazers. We are changing our story as we speak. We are changing our narrative, and it's, that's what the main mission of East Africa is. The dress code for the closing jazz brunch was traditional and cultural African attire. My favorite part probably would be the entertainment and the outfits, just to see like a beautiful group of amazing African and Black American and all people from different cultures come together and incorporate the Ankara. It was just beautiful and amazing to see that. And the fashion is great. The theme today has been Ankara for African print and you know all the ladies and gentlemen here are wearing a touch of that so it's really beautiful to see that. There was a variety of food for both guests and entertainers. The event even showered guests with gift bags in honor of attending the celebration. Yeah, I had a mimosa and I had the salmon. Um, amazing. The salmon had some cabbage and like potatoes under it. It was delicious. With much expectation for next year's Face to Face Africa Pan-African celebration, one thing is for sure, the Pan-African affair is here to stay. We've been here for seven years, but still we need people to spread the word about Face to Face Africa because once they hear about it, they want to attend and experience the whole Pan-African movement. Our goal for next year is simple, is to just continue to be um, the gateway to really changing the Pan-African narrative here in the diaspora. Felicia Chanel Stevens, reporting for BronxNet.